I just had a package arrive and in that package was this sweater. It was sent to me by this brand called Tricot. I think it's a French brand. I might be wrong, actually. That might not be true at all. Um, but yeah, it's this amazing sweater. I kind of have it rolled up in a funny way. I never really know how to wear a sweater that isn't cropped. It kind of like, kind of like bunches up funny. So I just kind of roll it a little bit. But I love the color. It's, yeah, this is a really good sweater. And they also have it in a navy blue. And I was debating between this color and the navy blue. And I'm glad I went with this one. But now I'm kind of thinking I want the navy as well. Because it's... It's just so soft and nice. Yeah, it's great. I like the buttons. Yeah, this is my new sweater. I'm very happy about it. I also just realized while I was organizing some books that I don't think I've talked to any of you on YouTube about the group vacation that I'm going on. I know people on TikTok on pe and people on Instagram definitely know about it, but I'm going on this group vacation. I'm the host of this trip and it's in Rome and Florence this summer. We leave around the end of August, but there are actually still spots available in the group vacation if you're wanting to come. I think there's like at least 10 spots left for people to sign up. But yeah, we spend six days in Italy together and it's kind of like a fun little reading vacation. And I'm preparing a reading list that's like why I remembered to tell you about the trip. Um, but yeah, I'm planning this whole reading list with books that are kind of inspired by Europe and European vacation and more specifically Italy. But yeah, these are some of the books that are going to be on the reading list. And I'm not going to show you because it's the list isn't done yet. I'm still curating it and I still need to read a few of them. But yeah, if you have any questions about this group vacation, you can just comment them down below and maybe I'll start a little thread where we can talk about the vacation. But yeah, that'd be so fun. If some of you guys from YouTube came, let me know. I'll leave uh, links to the website where the vacation can be booked and you can find a little bit more information about it there as well. But yeah, it's gonna be really, really fun.
today I have so much schoolwork to do. I'm just gonna run out and get Joni some cat food. I think I'm gonna go and buy a bag of decaf coffee beans, get a cup of coffee and just bring it back home and then just do schoolwork all day. I have to do a presentation tomorrow in one of my classes that I'm not prepared for at all. Uh, yeah, I think I just need to spend the whole day doing schoolwork. But the thing is, okay, sometimes I'll be trying to do work from home and then Joni won't stop crying because she wants to play. And so like ideally I would just sit at home at my kitchen table and do all my work but I might end up having to leave and go to another coffee shop to do work. We'll see. I don't quite know how this day is gonna go. This little one will be the deciding factor. If she naps all day, then we might be fine. But if not, then we're going out. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna go meet a friend for, I don't know if we're going for dinner or just for drinks, but I'm kind of hungry. I'm kind of hoping that we're gonna eat, or at least I'm for sure gonna eat. Maybe she won't, but I, oh, I'm kind of wearing a fun outfit. I've never worn this before. Um, I've never worn this combination of things together. Uh, Robin, you guys all know Robin. She made this vest. It's from her brand Knit Slip. This is like one of the first vests she ever made. It has confetti all over it. And then this little top and a long skirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's long. I think I'm gonna wear some tall boots with it, my black boots. Um, yeah, a little bag. It's cold out, I'm gonna have to wear a jacket. And yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out until I have to go meet up with her. I might read for a bit, but I'm also gonna drink this beer. Uh, it's a coconut key lime pie beer, which could be really good or maybe really gross, but I don't know, I think it kind of sounds good. It came in a pack with four other pie flavored beers and one of them is banoffee pie. I think one of them is lemon meringue pie. I don't know, there's another one. Oh, it's good. It tastes like pie. It does. It tastes like, yeah, a, a key lime pie. It's good. Very into that. Mmm.
I decided to stop at a thrift store while I was out and I wasn't expecting to be in there very long. I just didn't really think I was gonna find anything. And I found a lot of stuff. I haven't gone thrifting, like really seriously thrifting in like eight months. I just haven't needed anything. And yeah, I don't know. I found a lot of stuff today. It was just very unexpected. So I'm gonna show you all the things that I found. I also haven't tried anything on because there's no change rooms in the thrift store. So I don't even know what any of this looks like. Like you're seeing it for the first time while I'm seeing it for the first time. Because first thing is this jacket. I almost left this behind and I'm so glad I didn't. I feel like on camera it doesn't actually look that good, but I really like it. It does smell like a cigarette. So I'm going to have to get it dry cleaned, but this is it. It's just like a cropped little jacket. There's something jingling. But yeah, just a little jacket. I really like it. It's like the perfect length, I think. Yeah, I like it. I think it's good. Next is just this white button up. It's just cotton ginny. I love everything they make. And I can't tell if it's linen or if it's just a really nice cotton, but I think it'll just be good for the summer for just layering, you know? But I like how big it is and it just feels so nice. I love cotton ginny, love everything they make. Always have, always will. Oh, okay, this next one I am very excited about. It's a silk button up and I think the length is going to be really good. I just love a silk shirt and it's red. I love red and oh yeah, it just feels so nice. The tag is really nice too. I don't know, at least I think it is. Okay, yeah, this feels like a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah, the sleeves are such a good length. Wow. This next thing was a little silly for me to get. Uh, it's a pair of shoes, but I really love the brand of these shoes. And I just really like the way that they look. They're these little Jessica slip-ons. And they just have such a fun silhouette and the weave is so nice. The thing that is silly about this is that slip-on shoes always fly off my feet. I have extremely slim feet and I can't wear shoes like Birkenstocks because they're too wide for me. Uh, they, I walk and they literally go flying off my feet. Um, so we'll see how these go. I just really didn't want to leave them behind because I really like them. But yeah, they might, they might not work for me, but they also might be fine. I just really like them. I, these are like my ideal shoe. They're like the sandal version of my loafers that I wear every day. Okay, next is these pants. They fit better than I was expecting. And I actually really like that they don't have pockets on the back. That's something I kind of look for in thrifted pants. I just think they make my butt look better. I kind of have no ass and something about no pockets on the back. I think just like makes my butt look better. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I think it's true. Uh, I will say they're like a little longer than I want them to be. There's like a straight leg, but I can just roll them up. I'll show you what they fully look like. See, they don't look like much, but I feel like if I was to have them cropped to like this length, they would just look a little better, you know? I could just roll them. That would be fine. But I think they're good. I found this belt. It's definitely a vintage belt. It has this tag on the back that looks old as hell. And it's real leather. And uh, yeah, I think it's nice. I haven't had a good belt, maybe ever. The last two things are two button-up shirts. I just wear button-ups over everything. They're just good to have. I like them. Yeah, this one, just brown, striped, and it's a men's large, I believe. Yeah, men's large, just like little micro stripe, brown and white. And then 
This one is a fun stripe. It kind of has these funny sleeves, which is okay. I mean, I don't love them, but I'll just end up rolling them up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's not like you're even gonna see them. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna go eat soup now. I just had soup delivered and yeah, I think that's going to be kind of it. I think that's the end of this vlog, but I'm going to basically pick back up filming tonight and then I'll have a fun little video for you guys again next week. But yeah, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you next time. Joni, say goodbye. She says bye.